never had a chance to get into this, but we've heard that there is now an opening. And knowing how haunted that location over there was, I guarantee you this place is just as easily active. <laughs> Don't cock up, bro. Yeah, come on, we did it flawlessly. We did it, guys. <laughs> and the girl's using it as time. Oh, that's got a horrible, horrible feeling. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode, another ghost hunt. Now, behind me, as you can see, is an asylum. It's part of Hayward's Heath Asylum. Now, if you remember, I've done this once before, but not this one. I did it sister building over there. Never had a chance to get into this, but we've heard that there's now an opening. And knowing how haunted that location over there was, guarantee you this place is just as easily active. And I got some new ghost hunting gear that we're gonna try. But a bigger surprise for you, we're not alone. Hello. We're joined with the secret vault for a ghost hunt. I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, he's, uh, he's gone mute, sadly. <laughs> And of course, Kaylee is here as well. Hello. Um, are you guys ready to do this? This place, oh. this place is looking and feeling a bit daunting. Can I just say I've wanted to get in here for nearly four and a half years, I believe. Yeah. Four, four and a half, because I've been told. Okay. Apparently, it's a fully stocked time capsule, and there's only been one other person that's done this place, and apparently, it's haunted as fuck. He ran out of the building, and he's not that kind of guy. So, mm, get ready. Right. That's all I'm saying. Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to pray to my users, because what I do is I say like, in the future, right, through the power of time travel, pray into the past, so that <laughs> so that on the other side of this wall, there's at least a big hole, perhaps with a pallet against it or something. Yeah, I know, right? That would be ideal. Intentions. Come on, guys. All right. Pray now. Yeah, okay. Well, why don't we go find out then? <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we did just a minute ago. Oh God, this is sludgy. We did just a minute ago go into the other asylum that I've already ghost hunted. And that went stunningly well. I will actually put that link at the very end of the video. So look out for that. The last time we were here, there was no opening. We just came to have a peek here and you will not believe what we have discovered. Oh, he's trying. Okay. And apparently that's how it's done. So I should call up a copy suit. Hopefully I don't butcher it. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> right, there's Andrew coming over. <laughs> don't cock it up now. Yeah, come on, we did it flawlessly. No pressure. Oops. <laughs> was his... As he adds pressure. That was his, that was his, that was his sphincter. I heard his, 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 his man hymen going then. Oh dear. Yeah. Good boo. Yeah. Right, nice and easy like. Yeah. <laughs> he literally heard his man hymen go. Ping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go find the entry. My spider senses are tingling and saying that way. I think it's going to be this way. That's a separate block, but we can go in that last block. Yeah. I reckon we're going to get in there. I think so. Yeah. 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 Might get lucky than that. I hope so. I really want to go in here. Oh, there's a big hole here. Oh, look at that. Now, I will say, when I was in the other building, I did a little bit of spirit box and I was still getting responses. I'm not gonna lie, it felt absolutely like crap in there. So I'm a bit concerned that the spirits here might play some similar games on me. Only one way to find out though. Oh God, please don't fall. Yeah, there you go, you got it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Here, take the cameras. Sorry, I doubt myself all the time. I know, I need two hands for this. Yeah, you are. Oh, hang on, let me take that. Did she film me for this? Is when I want to film this? It's like I have no, I have no trust in myself. Oh yeah, keep that way. It's not too bad actually. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. 
piece of cake. Job done. Perfect. Cool. Let's go and see if we can find a way in. And if we can't, I guess we're ghost hunting the other asylum. I'm sure there's a way in. There's gotta be, we made it this far. Oh, shite. All right, so we tried and tried and tried, but we couldn't get into that one, but we still have this one here. Though I have ghost hunted this one before, at least I know it's active, I know it's open, and I know it's haunted. But look at the state of this. This all used to be part of the asylum. And um, crazy to think, they turned it all into housing, which is what they've done to most asylums here in the UK, unfortunate for us. But anyway, I've got to be quiet now because it's sneak mission time. You're on my phone. Yeah, hold your phone. There you go. Could you grab my bag, please? Oh, yes. Take that, take that. There's my bag. Let's get down in here. Now mind that hole around that corner. Yeah, don't. That is a fucking big hole. Yeah, okay? don't fall in the hole. Yeah, we don't want any more hole injuries. Of course, I grab onto the branch with thorns in it. Oh, wow, they're already in there. Here. Could you take that? Are you filming? Yes. Yeah, he is, yeah. I remember last time we were here, Connor had something thrown at him. Yeah, I remember that. Right there. Yeah. And that upstairs door slammed in there. Yeah, doors were slamming. We got so much spirit box. Only one time, yeah. How many years ago was it? A year and a half ago. Okay. Yeah, no, we had a door slam. There's some weird shit going on. Yeah, why don't we start with the big rooms because I also want to test out this new ghost hunting device I got. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back on the video though, Matt. In a ghost hunt, it's been a long time. Two choices. Oh. Yeah, let's start here. Oh, that's got a horrible, horrible feeling. Hello? Drips. Definitely drips. I Take didn't even remember correctly last time this room. Wasn't there something significant? The spirit box yeah. kicked off or something like that? Some interesting stuff in this room. Yeah. So I got a new device. I want to test. I'm sure a lot of you guys would know this is a flux. Now, I learned how to use this properly. Apparently it measures temperature changes and it measures things sort of like a REM pod. It uh, picks up on anything breaking its uh, frequency. And you can actually test or uh, set it to the distance you want. So blue is the shortest distance. Yellow is the next. Red is the third. And we'll do purple for the longest distance. So we'll let that calculate. Okay. Right. 
just to see if anybody wants to come forward. Oh, oh, we got something already. Is that because you were walking towards it? Yeah, how big is the, um, the distance on it? Well, now, right now it's set for um, something like seven feet. Does it only do Sweet front and back? Yeah, only left and right. So right now, that's, it's blue, as you can okay. see. So, so it's, it's checking. It's checking for any changes. Okay. Hello? Okay. Oh. Well, that wasn't a water drop. I, almost, I thought I heard you speaking to somebody earlier on upstairs, and I thought, oh, there must be somebody else in the building, because you sort of went like, oh, hi, yeah, yeah, hi. And I was oh, like, yeah, and I was talking phone. to a neighbour. You were on your phone. No, 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 I was talking to the neighbour outside. Really? Yeah, he was well chill, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. If there's someone in there, can you please make a noise for us? Yeah, try it. Yeah, try walking. Yeah, walk past it, man. Just go, go down that strip. I don't know if you have to wait for it to reset itself. Now. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Try standing. Try walking up to it and see just how far the proximity is. There. So that's the proximity level. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so we have a proximity then. Is somebody here with us? If you need our... I'm gonna sound like I want help before I even ask. If you need help, what do we have a purpose to help me? something up. Really close. Fuck. Something's literally right in front of it right now. On both sides. And it just walked away. And it's on both sides. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my god. I was wondering, by wow. I've been blowing at it with my thing to see whether it would trigger it, but I don't know if that was, because it's cleared by the time. It's yeah. actually pretty clear now, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So I wonder whether it picked up on... Why is the torch doing that? I don't know, the torch is acting weird. If that's you in here, could you make a loud knock? Maybe try and copy this? How? Can you copy that? Can you do it loud and clear like this? All right. Let's head upstairs. That's where we normally get the most activity. And that is also where the patients would have spent the most of their time suffering away in their rooms. I also got to admire the suicide bars here. 
initially either to prevent patients from trying to escape but also to prevent patients from jumping down the railing and killing themselves. I, I wouldn't say that because there's none on that floor. I think this is purely just to keep them in. Yeah. Well, whoever they kept in here, they really did not want them out of here. Hello? Any patients still up here? Anyone want to communicate with us? Can you copy this sound? Try to open or close one of the doors. Yeah, let's get some devices out. It's quite still, but if I remember correctly from last time, mm. I believed it was the death whistle that did it. Oh God, should I do that? I know it's really now? shit, right? And it's, it's a horrible sound, but I think if I remember that's what actually got the activity out. I'm trying to wrap my brain, yeah. this was a year and a half ago, I could be wrong. I can try it. Mm. All right. yeah. At the very least, someone's gonna think a woman's being brutally murdered in here. <laughs> Trusty, dusty, dusty, death whistle. I'll blow it this way so I don't deaf you guys. Deaf you guys. Okay. I'm doing this in the hopes that this may or may not, well, in the hopes that it may spark activity. If this just upsets you, I do apologize. Yeah, people. I think that's what we did last time. Mm -hmm. Right, let me go set up a device. Cool. You should put that new device down in the corridor. Actually, I'll yeah, tell you what, dump it right down in that doorway so we are so far away from it that it physically can't be us. Yeah, yeah, I'm put it all and if it goes off, there. we can just run down. What's the proximity on the lower setting? Wow. Like a foot, maybe? That's saying there's something there right now. Yeah. And he's turned the ses sensitivity down. Yeah. What? The hell? The door's open. It's just pointed into the room. In, uh, what, not in, mate, what would you call them? Um. Patient. Oh, it, oh God, I don't know. Yeah, patient, I guess. Like it's dimming and brightening up. Patient, come out of your room, please. <coughs> it's okay. You can come out of your room. It is close. Something's getting closer and further from Very me. strange, yeah. We make the light red for you. Will you come and say hello? Do you prefer a red light? I'll turn my light off. It's fluctuating between fast and light. It's like contemplating. It's okay, come out of your room, please. Stand in the corridor. Would you like a treat? Very strange. Is it worth maybe moving it up a little bit? Just to see if it does the same thing? I just thing? want to see if something goes right up to it. Okay. It's food time. Come and get some food. Xbox. Theory, it should be able to talk to us from here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
still on and the green and the green on. yeah and there's something on the left side i think green if i'm familiar i think the green was one beep means that it's sensing a temperature drop ah oh. but if it goes to, to, to that something stood in front of it right okay so the temperature is just continuously dropping because it should have recal recalibrated. So is the temperature a different sound? Or is it the exact same one, beep, but one? one beep. And if, okay. if the temperature changes warmer, the red light will turn on and just go beep. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Are you trying to manifest yourself? Is that why the temperature is dropping? Right. If you want us to leave you alone, say go away, say leave. Say leave if you want us to leave. Tonight, I'm sorry, It's gone off now. Yeah, the, the green's gone off. It means the temperature stopped changing, it stopped lowering. But I don't understand why the red... Right, come with me. Right, should I try it maybe further down? I'd move it down there and see if it makes a difference. Okay. That's the holding it. Yeah. Surely. It's not beeping now. Okay, so is that let's resetting? Move, let's move away from it, let's just see. If there's anyone out there in the hallway, please. This is hella fun. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so it's now it's totally resetting. recalibrated. We, 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 if we put it back there later on, yeah. and it does it again, yeah. maybe move it into one of the rooms and see if you get any more reaction because it might start going off more in one room or the other. But it's, it's yeah. either side, isn't it? It's one side or the other. Mm. Yeah. Can you set off the device out there, please? All you have to do is go, is approach it. So currently nothing, but I will say there is a bit of a temperature drop here, and I don't know if it's because a window's broken or something, but it is a bit chillier down here. Nothing, oh, nothing, nothing significant. Just a little blip. Yeah. 
Just see if any of these rooms have more EMF than any others. Come on, give us a sign that you're here. All we want to do is help you. Okay, I got a weird spike there. Oh, are you in here? Hmm. Yeah. Come on, where are you? I mean you no harm. Okay, so that's a temperature drop down at the end of the hallway. Oh God, look, humongous spikes. It's just going absolutely insane. Are you right here? Okay, that was Are you toying with us? Are you trying to make those bikes down there move so that we come that way? Because it's almost like it's traveled up the corridor. Okay, well, we'll try here. Do you want to grab this for me? Yeah, sure. Oops, sorry about Wow, yeah, it's getting random spikes. Where's my digital recorder? I might have put it back in the back. Are you okay? <laughs> I'll cut all this you need out. some assistance. I just can't find my fucking dish one. <laughs> Too many pockets, I guess. Um, Is it back in your bag? No, it shouldn't be. No, it's in this pocket. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Get the temperature drop down there. Can you make a sound for us? If you want us to leave, just tell us right here in my hand. Go away. Come on, I know you guys are in here. Ooh, what was that little? Oh, what? Hello. That oh, no, bang? It's normal. Yeah. Did you hear the little bang? No. It was me? Okay. Do you want us to leave? I'll just work here in my hand. Go away. Oh yeah, it's so quiet though. Just go away. Yeah. Oh <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just just go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Wow. So we got confirmation someone's here. Why do you want us to go away? Are you afraid of us? I'll make a deal with you. If you can make a loud bang, we'll leave. If you really want us gone and you're not happy about this, all you gotta do is let us know. Maybe face the other way, because we haven't actually focused much on that end. Come on, try and show yourself. What? What was that?
was that? That looked like a laser. Oh. oh. That's a laser fo focusing. What's it doing? It's trying to show you something. Uh, oh, ghost tube. Is it? Is it like yeah. highlighting things? Oh, well, shapes. Andrew, if you hold that, hold the phone, and I'll show Matt how it works. Yeah. So look, if I stand in front of it. It no, it's not a normal up. camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. My stick figure? Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, yeah. That's what we're trying, kind of looking for. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking, why would a normal camera do that? It's not a normal camera. No, no, no. Right. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you down in the hallway? It's trying to pick up a figure at the very end of the hall. Let's we'll just get closer. Come on, if there's somebody down there, can you show yourself? You in any of these rooms? Okay, well it can pick up on my shadow, that's for sure. Come on, show yourself. I'm literally walking down a hallway on my own. You're giving me anomalies randomly. Oh, scared me for a second, that's me. That's my shadow. Can you go stand next to my shadow there? See, you're picking up on something on the ceiling. Are you hovering above us? Where are you? It keeps trying to pick up on... Uh, yeah, there's like a figure on the ceiling. It's moving around. It just keeps coming in and out of existence. Is it a big figure? Human-sized figure, but it's... Child-sized, adult size. Adult. Is that... Are you, are you up there? It keeps picking up on a figure on the ceiling. Are you watching me from up there? Can you float? Can you make a noise? Picking up on Kaylee down there. Can you stand beside me? You stand right here. Can you try and show yourself next to Matt and Kaylee? I've got you two on the SLS. What if I try walking down this way? Matt, do you mind shining your light down this way? Come on, I know you're here and I know you're curious, and that's all right. Wait, what was that? I started knocking from over here. <coughs> No, I just heard something. Oh, that's them. Why did I just hear a knock from out here? Where are you? Come on. You hanging out in one of your rooms? Keeps picking up figures on the ceiling.
come on. I'm not scared. So it's as if they're like, if, if it is a figure, because it keeps making figures. It's as if they fade in and out of existence. Is it like your shadow you're No, it's not a shadow. It's not even on anything like a square, which normally it would pick up on squares. Yeah. Like it just picked up on, yeah, it's picking up on a figure in this room. Okay. Is that you? Yes, we got... I don't know. Are you in this room? It's interesting, because it is picking up on figures, but... It's like it comes and goes. Well, that was the old shower block. Do you think there's a significance with it? Did something happen in the shower? Make a noise for me if something happened in the shower. Try to copy this. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's got something weird going on in here. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it does fade in and out of existence. It's kind of like how, um, odd theory, but, um, here, hold that for a minute. You know how, um, they say particles that make up our existence, uh, phase in and out, appear and disappear? I wouldn't be surprised if ghosts were kind of the same. They could just come and go. Yeah. Hmm. Plus, I'm just wondering if there's a significance with that room in particular, though, because I thought it would be the only room that's unmanned. Because I noticed they've got locks on the inside. So maybe did somebody lock themselves in and do something bad to themselves? Or, I don't know. Did something, ba tree, did something bad happen in here? The torch is glitching out really bad. Yeah, look, I'll show you. Look. On the back of this door, look, there's locks, but they're in... That shouldn't be a thing for an insane asylum because if they can lock themselves in. Yeah. The locks are enough to be on that side, but not this one. So did they lock themselves in here and do something? Tell you what. Did you hurt yourself in here? Can you affect the torch? Maybe not there. Can you affect the torch? Can you make it go on and off? Not picking up on anything now, are you? There's weird line slits, but I don't know. Yeah. All right, tell you what, we'll step out. We'll just see. Saying it's trying to build a figure yeah. in in that room. Hmm. Right, guys. Well, we got some interesting stuff, um, but it was actually a lot more quiet than it usually is. Um, Quite surprising for uh, an abandoned insane asylum. But again, I guess you just can't win them all. We did get some activity and I'm satisfied with some better than nothing. And uh, it goes to show that, you know, ghost hunting it, it is, I mean, this is, this is what real ghost hunting is. Um, you, you win some and you lose some. But look, if you enjoyed that video, I'm actually gonna put a link right here. This is the last time we're here and you can see how badly it kicked off. It was absolutely insane. Uh, so don't even think about it, just click it and I'll end it as we always do. Do you believe yet?